so many people, I think when they, the big mistake people make is when you start to get stressed out, you feel overwhelmed with bills and stuff, you wallow in the, in the misery of that instead of sometimes you just gotta, you gotta think outside the box and think, okay, here's my main source of income. What's, what's my side hustle? What's the second side hustle? What's the third side hustle? You gotta get those going. Go ahead. Well, so it's interesting that you brought that up because about a few months ago, this lady had reached out to me about possibly like helping coaching her in her business because she's got a job right now. She wants to get her side hustle going. um, And she's got two or three kids. And she's like, I don't understand how people build their, their side hustle. And I was like, well, what do you mean? She's like, well, she's like, especially for people that are like, whether they're married or single moms, you got a couple kids, like my schedule, like I got, I got my job um, from eight to four, nine to five, whatever it was. I got to get up early to get the kids ready and then to pick them up, make sure they're done with their homework and then dinner. And then by the time everyone's done and ready to go to sleep, there's no time for me to get, do my side hustle. And I'm like, well, is that the same schedule you have on the weekends? And she's like, no. And I was like, well, why don't you dip about two or three hours into your time on each Saturday and Sunday mm-hmm. to to put in your side hustle? She's like, well, Sundays are family days. And so I'm like, there's no room for that right now. You have to understand that just because you're a mom right now and you want to have the luxury of being a wife, being a mom, um, you have to make sacrifices. Mm-hmm. And if you're not willing to, then you're, there's no point of view in you talking about a side hustle, which in, right. the, which in the long run means you're not going to make more money. And I'm like, and what about your day? What about your, how many hours a day do you sleep? She's like, eight hours. And I was like, well, let's sacrifice some of that too. She's like, what do you mean? And I was like, well, I wake up at two in the morning. Don't do that, but get up at four. Yeah. I'm like, wake up two hours earlier than you would to get the kids ready so that you can actually put work into the project and yeah. then stay up an extra hour at night before when everybody else is done. That yeah. way you have an extra three hours a day, 15 hours Monday through Friday, and then an extra two to four hours additional each Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. And like now you have 20 hours, then you have actually part-time hours to put in such like, no. I was like, I was but, like, but, okay then. I was <laughs> like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, I, I was speechless for a second, and I'm like, I don't understand why. And she's like, I'm not gonna. There's no way I'm gonna wake up at the crack of dawn before. It's, and I'm like, hold on a second. You just asked me. You're coming to me for advice. You asked me on how to improve the quality of your life, especially on a financial level. You want to improve your business. You want to get out of your job because you told me you hate it. And you're asking me how the fuck do I get out of this position? And when I'm giving you a real solution, something that I've actually done myself personally Mm -hmm. and many people that I've taught, you're telling me you're not willing to sleep six hours instead of eight hours and stay up one hour extra so that you can actually make more money and then in the long run, you're actually going to be able to spend more time with your family. And she's like, there's no way I'm willing to do that. And I was like, well, then you were talking to the wrong person and you definitely don't, you definitely belong staying as an employee. And that's that. Yeah. And, And not to contradict what Sean said, I'm on the same page. We all have 24 hours a day, seven mm-hmm. days a week. Now, some people function better at night. I'm a night guy, so I, have, I, can, I work at hours that people are sleeping. But Sean's philosophy is correct as well. The point, and I, I think Sean will agree with me, is we all have 24 hours. Right. Whatever works, if, if, right. if Sean's giving her a solution that she doesn't want to take, and, and, if, and if she doesn't take any solution within that 24-hour period, that's her fault. But here's my other point that I'm, I want to bring up. I like to put myself in an uncomfortable situation. So I just bought these two real expensive cars. I'm the same way, man. And you know what it does? It's like, it oh, forces you. it forces you to go to the next level. Yep. Because, I, and I'm not going to say I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable or I'm uh, complacent, but if a lot of these individuals, they're feeling the pressure, Sean, I believe right now because of the inflation. And I'm like, oh, we have an inflation. Oh, let me go spend money on two cars. I, I yeah. the, or the payments. Whoop. Yeah. And I'm thinking, okay, I got to step up. Yeah. It put me in a situation to elevate my game. I have to put myself in harm's way. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's weird. <laughs> it's and weird. I wish I wasn't like that. Like I wish I was more like him. Um, you know, where he he can get up. Can I get, need to put myself yeah. like behind the eight ball to then. Yes. And so, so what I did yeah. is 2020 was my best year. Mm-hmm. Or I'm sorry, 2021 was my best year. Is. Time's flying. Is. Yeah. It's almost over, but 2021. And I said, oh, this is great. But we all know saving is not the solution. Investing is. Investing into assets. I bought negative assets to put me to the next level, to force me behind the eight ball going, uh-oh, mm-hmm. uh-oh. And then, this is the best part, and it happens every year. I knew it was coming. Uh, my contract's ended with two of my biggest clients. Mm-hmm. I got one invoice that just came in the mail today, and I'm going, uh, cricket, cricket, right? And now it's dead time. I call it dead time for business 
positive time for me to change my business model and grow my business and, you know, get all my frameworks in place, my, um, change my business plan, improve my business plan in December, not go, oh, I got two weeks off, I can chill. So I'm revamping everything in my business to get ready for January. So when January comes, here you go. Yep. Here I go. And now I've got to, oh, I can't do 10% anymore, Mr. Client. I got to go 15 and 20%. Well, we, we don't, that's expensive. Why well, have other clients that pay that? Well, you did 10% with us for three years. It's a cost of doing business. And so I have to put myself in the new level, like you said. Mm -hmm. um, and Sean's 100% right. He gave her a solution. Yeah. And she sat there and fought him on it. Yeah. She's comfortable. Yeah. She said she's not comfortable, but she, she's not on the street. No, no, she's definitely right. comfortable. Um, I mean, it, like when we talked about money, she, she told me she's paycheck to paycheck. And I'm like, I don't know how that's not dis uncomfortable enough for you to want to make a change. And I was like, I was like, look. I sleep four hours a night and I was like, and sometimes like people think I brag about that. But the thing is like the reality of it is like my whole life changed when I decided to stop sleeping. I mean, fuck, I don't like, I mean, especially when people talk about like eight hours of sleep, like you don't need to sleep a fucking third of your day away. I mean, really like that's a long time. That's a lot of time. That's a lot of wasted time. Um, there's no efficiency in that. And really like, what's the benefit to it? Like if you haven't made it, then the, the idea of even wanting to sleep shouldn't even exist, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I like a, a few weeks ago, <clears throat> we were, you were talking, I don't remember if it was on the show or off camera, but you mentioned, you know, you, you grab, you put your you know, breakfast together, whatever, and then you, you eat it in the car. Yeah. And like just that little thing probably saves 20 minutes. Yeah. Right? So then I'll do that seven days a week. All of a sudden you got... Time in the you got, bank. You got two, three hours. Right. You yeah. know, and it's like just that one little change, it says a lot, you know, of what when people say, oh, I don't have time. I can't do this. Like, there's always time. There's you don't realize time. how much time, even, you probably, you're the, probably the exception, but for most people that even do like get after it, they still have a lot of time. Yeah. You know, we don't, re we don't realize how much time we actually waste. Right. Until the thing is like, until you make a real, like true conscious decision that I want to get, I want to become a peak performer. I want to get to a high level of performance in my life, in my business, in my relationship. Then I have to be willing to make compromises to the things that make me comfortable. And if that means time and sleep, then I'm willing to give both of those up in order to put myself ahead. And for the most part, that's usually the only answer mm -hmm. to get to a peak performing level. Yeah. And, um, you know, when I made that decision, that's when I started to realize, like, holy crap, I really did used to waste a lot of time. Yeah. And why, when I say, like, yeah, if you can capitalize every minute of your day um, for a whole 24 hours, including four to six hours of sleep, you'd be surprised that in a year you're actually getting two years worth of work done, if not three. Right. And, and, and the, the job or mindset versus the business owner. Uh, I saw on LinkedIn today, I, I posted some stuff and responded. People are like, oh, and it's, and, it, and it's coming a lot from women. And they're like, I don't understand why I can't recruit these people and that don't want to go in the office. He said they're quitting their company because their company wants to bring them back in the office. They want to stay remote. And nobody wants to work hybrid. What's going on? I love being around people. I love socializing. Time back. <clears throat> a lot of business owners have more time because they write their own schedule, mm -hmm. right? So the amount of time his client is taking to get ready, to put the suit on, spend money, eat out to lunch, commute, all that time, if she would focus on Sean's plan and then stay and run her business, she's going to actually create a window of more time. Right. So that time that she's spending doing the commuting, dealing with work, the wasteless time and too many meetings and, hey, let's go to lunch and spend an hour and a half instead of one hour buying lunch. She's going to get that time back, which is a couple, a couple hours a day towards herself. And then she can have more time for her family. I, I mean, it, it's plain and simple, but it's a mindset of a business owner versus a jobber. Mm -hmm. And I responded. I said, you want a social life? That's where you get your people skill. You, you get your interaction with people, right. right? You don't have to go into an office. Find something to do outside of work. And she clearly online, this lady mentioned, oh, you know, this is where I like to engage with people and network. And I said, get a social life. Go to the gym. Right. Find something to do. Go to a, a show. Do something. But, but you're spending all this time in the office. Nobody right now, nobody. I'm looking at clients, and they're coming to me going, Daverick, hey, we got this opportunity. And some of them are big companies, some are small. You've heard mm -hmm. of them. I look at them, and I, I have a checklist. And I say, the positions you're hiring for, are they all on site? No, they're all remote. Okay, I'm interested. But I had a client that's doing stuff in space, very well known. 
And they're in California, and they said, yeah, we want to talk to you about opportunity. I went to their job board on their site, and it's on-site, on-site, on-site. And I responded. I wrote an email to the CEO and founder. I said, I remember this. This is not going to work. You're going to have a hard time. And I said, your time to fill rate is going to kill me, and I'm going to look bad performing because you want people to come in the office when everybody else says you don't have to. Mm -hmm. That's the number one reason why people aren't going back to their job right now, because they can work remote. Hey guys, thanks for watching the channel. If you like what you saw today, find value in what you saw, please share with your friends and family. And make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to this channel, and in the comment section below, let us know which topics you would like us to cover in the future.